It's 7.01 and we can call this December meeting of the City of Burlington Historic Preservation Commission to order. Our first item of business is to swear in a few of our new board returning members. Okay, um, it's Christina, Wendy, and Michael Bruno. Um, Michael will be our current board member. Um, if you're swearing or affirming, you can um, raise your right hand and then place your left hand just beside you and then you'll just repeat after me. So I state your first and last name. Michael Williams. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? Do you solemnly swear or affirm? That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. That I will be faithful. I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. Bear true allegiance. To the state of North Carolina. To the state of North Carolina. And to the constitutional powers. And to the constitutional powers. And authorities. And authorities. Which are. Which are. Or may be established, or may be established for, the government thereof, for the government thereof, and that I will endeavor, that I will endeavor to, support, to support, maintain and defend, maintain and defend the Constitution and laws of the state, not inconsistent with the Constitution of the United States, to the best of my knowledge and ability, and that I will, and that I will well and truly execute the duties of a board member while serving on the Historic Preservation Commission for the City of Burlington according to the law. So help me God. Congratulations. Welcome to Michael Williams, who's attending his first. Thank you. Sorry, I missed the October meeting. Good to have you. Our next item on the agenda is the approval of have commission members had a chance to review the minutes? Can I have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Is there a second? A second. I think uh, just according to <coughs> the, the folks who were present should probably oh, say sorry. And also just as a reminder, if you were absent from the meeting, just abstain from approving the minutes, and that would be Wendy, Michael, and Christina. Second. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor? Uh, aye. Um, you didn't do a roll call at the beginning. Do you want to do that? We can do that, yep. So, uh, Chair Pennington? Here. Vice Chair uh, Peeler? Here. Commission Member uh, Benson is absent Jeez. and has requested an excused absence, so we'll have to move. Okay. Uh, Commission Member Hess? Present. Commission Member Geis? Present. Commission Member Williams? Present. And Commission Member Wyman? Here. So, uh, um, Ms. Benson uh, messaged us today. She'd fallen ill. She plans on being at the meeting and she requests an excused absence. Uh, could I have a motion to approve her request for an excused absence? Second. Christina, second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Uh, um, <coughs> all right, we'll move to our applications for certifications of mm -hmm. appropriateness. Uh, first item is a request by Mr. Stanley Haycock on behalf of Mr. Ray Warren. I take it here, Mr. Warren. Indeed. Welcome. Thank you. To install two nine foot steel doors with glass top panels and remove one walk in door with glass panels in the garage at 518 Fountain Place. Um, the property is located in the medium density residential. Um, and in the local historic overlay districts. Okay. Do we want to swear in? So I will uh, first swear that the information I provide is the truth to the best of my ability. Um, and um, uh, I will just present briefly the item, and then we can um, call on the, the applicant uh, as well. So this is item number two. I guess before we get to that, item number one um, was a request by Ms. Carol Lehman to remove the awnings. Um, Ms. Lehman uh, emailed me today. Uh, the reason why this was on your agenda was it wasn't clear whether they were original awnings or not. Um, and so we had placed the item on the agenda uh, just um, for being Cautionary and Ms. Lehman was has been 
will be in contact with the son of the prior owner and feels that she may have additional information to supply. So ultimately, her case may be withdrawn if it's determined that her owings are not original. However, I'm going to ask that the commission consider um, carrying this item to January and to February, considering we're going to talk about January later. But if you can, can uh, continue the item to January and February, this way we don't have to re-notice. And in the event that it's found that they are not original, then we'll just, um, I'll send you an email requesting that it's withdrawn. Right. So do we need to act on that? Yeah, would, let's just do that first and get that off of your plate. So there's a request to carry uh, item one that's on the agenda today to the February 2023 meeting. Is there a motion to approve that request? And that will be, sorry, that will be January. It's in here somewhere. Here we are. It's uh, January 10th. All right, so we want to carry it to January, not February? Both. Let's just do okay. both. Yeah. All right, so the, to amend the motion, we're carrying this item to the January and February 2023 meetings. January 10th and February 14th. All right, so there's a motion from Andy Dice. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, thank you. All right, so then on to the applicant, who's uh, number two. So we received a request um, from Mr. Stanley Hickok on behalf of uh, the Mormons um, to install two nine-foot steel doors um, with glass panel tops and one walk-in door um, with glass panels at the, in the garage at 518 Fountain Place. The staff report includes the findings and facts associated with um, the application and the supporting application and pictures um, we did, just before the meeting, uh, the chairman and I reviewed the National Registry list and it did not um, mention anything pertaining to the outbuilding, so my feeling is it's not an original structure. Um, and I just wanted to mention that as part of this because it wasn't in the staff report. So, um, Mr. Hickok is present as well as Mr. Warren, so I will ask that, um, can you affirm that the information is the truth to the best of your ability. Okay, and Mr. Warren, are you going to speak also? Possibly. Oh, possibly. Okay. <coughs> Do you also affirm that the information that you're going to provide is the truth to the best of your ability? Indeed. Okay, great. Are there any conflicts of interest with this application? Mr. Hickok, why don't you, um, the board, the commission has my packet and my um, information. Would you like to supplement that at, at all? Um, <clears throat> mainly, I guess, if there's any questions, um, that's the existing building. Um, that's, that's the existing garage right there, the way, you know, the way it is now. And then, um, <clears throat> what, uh, that drawing is, um, I, I just kind of, I did that drawing just to show you the kind of like the size and the height of what things would look like. And then the next thing, well, that picture is of a door that's going down the steps into his basement right now, into his uh, mechanical room. And we were going to take that door and use it on the garage and then put a steel, a, 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 a solid panel door there. They, don't, they, just, they didn't want glass going down into that um, cellar. So we were just going to switch that one and put it in the garage and then, uh, and then, um, do those kind of doors right that's the look that we're going for right there uh, for the two doors and that's kind of um, uh, Ray's wife that's what she sort of that's the picture she came up with what, what she kind of wanted to, to look like right there and then that previous picture that that picture right there like came out of a, say a magazine that picture right there came from the garage door people that that's that's what the door would actually look like it's close to what they could get to those right there and um, can you just describe like the materials of the door? Well, what we're talking about is metal, um, metal um, a metal door, and um, the transom. Well, not transom, but the lights would be. You know, it's three, it's three separate panels, <coughs> and the lighting is the you know the third panel up. Um, so that's uh, pretty much. <laughs> I'm 
sure that commission members may have questions. Are there any similar uh, doors or um, examples of this within the historic district? Uh, this particular look right here? Not that I'm aware of. We did something for Brian that's similar, but it's not exactly like that. It's but it's, it's really, it's real similar to, uh, to those doors. Same material. Mm -hmm. Solid panel doors, or they, they also had light features as well? Um, light. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Y'all have light, right? Don't y'all have a light in the top, yeah. the top panel? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. their, uh, their, light, their light design, I don't think, was quite like that one right there. I, I think it was more straight, wasn't it? Was yeah, just, it was just straight instead of having the, the arch look. Um, and um, if you go back, go back to that door. So, all right, go back up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, down, yeah. One more. Yeah, so those are um, the panels. The panels in those doors are um, kind of a beaded, a beaded panel, if you might say, instead of like a, just a standard raised panel or a flat panel, it's actually a beaded panel. And that's what we did. That's similar to what we did at Brown and Amy's. Um, if you, and one other feature, I don't know if there would be any questions on this. If you get back to the um, drawing that I actually did, all right, so the walk-in door, um, I was that panel above the door, I just did it because that door is actually shorter than the garage doors, and so we thought just to try to even out that line at the top, that's just basically a flat panel um, that, that we would actually build above, <coughs> above the door to just make it, to make it straight all the way across instead of, you know, a lot of times you'll see a garage where the doors, you know, when you walk in the door, it's a lot lower, you know. But, Anyway, that's what that was all about. Of course, that picture doesn't show the walk-in door. <clears throat> so it'll be two doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, re the reason, and the reason is it's three doors now. The garage, the garage is three doors now, but they're real narrow, and it's, it's hard to get a car. It's, it's hard to... Yeah. Model T is going quite well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so uh, they decided instead of having three, the smaller doors, do two bigger doors, and, and then have the one small walk-in door that you can walk in and out of. So the same width for the new garage is is the same width as this currently. Yeah. Well, yeah. And the garage will be. You talking about the build itself? Yeah. The build itself. Yeah. Now the build itself will stay. We're right. not doing all we're doing. But basically, all we're changing is what oh, you gotcha. know, those, those garage doors. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Uh -huh. gotcha. Yeah. The beam, gotcha. the beam, and the sides, and, it, and the whole building will stay. Will, will, so you're just yeah. replacing the garage doors and the single door. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. I, I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Making two, two. Those Wide these are like seven. Doors. These are like seven foot doors, and so we're going to make two nine foot doors, and then the three foot walk in door. We'd like to. Are there other questions for Mr. Nathan? Yeah, I've got several questions. Um, right. uh, is that a transom light above the door, the walk in door? No, it's just well, it, it says light. If you want to. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah. the nine light, yeah, the nine the lights are actually the door itself, and gotcha. the trans, the transom above. Well, I was just thinking about just keeping it, uh, um, keeping it just a, a flat panel, uh, wood, wood flat panel. And then, did you ever consider putting the door? Because um, to me, the symmetry is is odd. Did mm -hmm. you ever consider putting the door on the side, the walk in and out door, and then having? Well, yeah, we would. <coughs> uh, Ray asked the same thing. The only problem is the the garage. It, if you ever, if you, um, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to see, but if you see right to the right, the landscaping comes all the way up, and it's, it's a lot higher. The landscaping is a lot higher at that point right there, and it's, and it makes for a real awkward. Well, on the left side, could there, yeah. be, you know, uh, could there be one on the left, maybe? The well, they got a garden and stuff over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna use this. You talking about here? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then over here. And then my last question is the. Um, mullions in between in the is the the glass is that uh, plastic? Because I know stores it's, it's, it's an insert. So mm -hmm. it's a is it plastic? Mm -hmm. is it, I, um, yeah, typically they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, those doors, uh, they're, they're actually made uh, just straight lights and then they put those inserts in there to create that arch. And the age of the house, what? I know this is not an original structure, but... 1923. 1923, okay. So, um, I was just like, you know, kind of keeping with the style of the house, uh, which I don't know the style of the house, but uh, um, keeping it kind of that carriage house look. To me, the lights, just the, the plastic mullions, is that what they're mullions? Is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good term for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the door, um, to me, the door bothers me, the nine light, I just, to me, it's just um, maybe something that's more solid looking. Um, I don't know, I just don't think that that would be in keeping with a 19. Style, style home. Even though I know it's not an original structure, um, mm -hmm. those are just my thoughts. That style door is actually on the back of our house, and I think it's pretty original. I mean, that's an insert there on that door, but there are the, the doors on the back are are a nine door like that, which is I think a little odd. <clears throat> it's actually part of the house. <clears throat> Will it be visible from the street? Mm -hmm. Well, if you look straight at the driveway, yeah. you'll look right at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see the garage doors first. And we, we wanted to go with the carriage look, was mm -hmm. our whole point. <clears throat> if you look, there's a house I know well on West Front Street that they redid the, they had, they had a tree fall. It was actually the health house. They actually we had a tree fall <laughs> on the carriage house. And it took out the 1892 carriage house, so we had to recreate something that that was in keeping with the Victorian style. We did solid, we did metal doors, but we did solid. Um, and then we, we did the color scheme that matched the house. But I feel like we were very happy with the end result. Are you happy? Because you look at it, it's your, it's your view. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, like lighting, I like the, the carriage lantern on this one. Is there any plans for any exterior lighting or? That's yes, she's, well, that's she's, what yeah. she's wanted. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not sure about that cupola up there. I mean, that, that's basically we were showing pretty much what we what the <coughs> what the the just the garage door area would look like. Mm -hmm. there. So, but yeah, I think we were trying to get that light because mm -hmm. uh, we're having to get power out there. It doesn't have any power right now, so we're we run underground to it. <coughs> and, uh, we did the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are just my thoughts. Stan and I probably should have my wife here. She's in a meeting, so anyway, <laughs> this is what she enjoys and what she likes. Uh -huh. <clears throat> this, um, the outbuilding doesn't appear on the National Register list from when the, um, this time, when the historic district was created, so it looks like the building wasn't there. That, do you have any hints? Can you tell, like, why or anything when it was gone up? When the, um, when was the garage built? The garage built, yeah. I don't know. There's a uh, you can't see it in the picture, but there's actually a a, a, some, a quarters house behind it, like a servants' quarters, you might say, behind it, uh, brick. It's a it's a brick veneer um, thing. You can't see it from the road, but it's right directly behind it. And I feel like that was pretty that's original. That was original. Yeah, yeah, pretty original. I don't know if they have that on the records or not. But this was added. This was added in front in front of it at some point. Um, my guess would be probably 40s. Just looking at it and, and how it's built and everything. My guess would be in the 40s, but I don't know. Right? <clears throat> Anybody else? Yeah. Are there further conversations or discussions on commission members? I drove by it last week. I drove by it, and I think what they proposed will be a visual improvement to, to what's there now, and also the garage doors appear too narrow to be to be usable. I don't know how that fits in with all of the historical regulations, but I think it would it, it's a beautiful home, and I think you know, this would visually be attractive. Have there been any comments from the neighbors? No, we have not received any emails or calls on the application. Is there any member of the public here who would like to comment? Is 
their staff recommendation? Uh, staff is, is recommending approval of the request. Make a motion that we approve it if that's appropriate. Um, so we're not reading findings of fact into the record? Unless there's something that you want to add, I think we've got consensus um, from, from everyone so far that we'll just even state them for the record that it's, um, unless there's something to add that's, that they, uh, you approve the findings of facts as pro the staff report. Yeah. Are there any additional findings of fact? Should you approve the findings of fact as written in the agenda? Second. Christina? Second. Second. And Vernon? All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, um, findings of fact, you approve. Any opposed? Any opposed? I thought I caught every. I thought <laughs> I caught every. choice to have it more, I don't know how to describe that, um, as opposed to going straight across, is that just a design element that you <coughs> propose versus just going straight across similar <laughs> to how it would match the door going straight across on this top one. of that? Okay. Just like the picture I think it's below, <coughs> my wife saw that and, and I forgot in some garage door design she said, that's what I like. And she's like, well, exception. The B boarding, it's going up and down like a carriage door would. So it's a little different, <clears throat> but uh, pretty close to that. That's, she just liked that design. <clears throat> if this team doesn't like that design, we can go straight across. This note, I just lost that note, too. I remember that's called a sunrise. I think that's called a sunrise. sunrise. Mm -hmm. okay. I remember because we, we debated all that stuff, too. Did yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. so. <clears throat> Change that. We have the word of the doors by any stretch, so it's that's fine with us. No, I was waiting. Yeah. <laughs> but there, there's where you're talking about that, Ms. Lawson. That is, it's all straight. That probably, you're exactly right. I hadn't thought about that. So. <clears throat> all right, do we want to articulate a motion that would get at this?
Is that a motion from Christina? Yes. All right. So there's a motion. Is, it, is there a second? Second. All right. Any further discussion? All right. You want to do a roll call on this? Yes. Approve the application with this modification that the lights would um, be in a horizontal pattern. Okay. And, your, and the application, just so I'm clear, does that include the installation of the exterior light or is that to be separate? Fixture? If we haven't chosen them yet. Okay. Um, oh, the, next, the light? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think there'll be two. Okay. There'll be that we can handle separately then. Yeah, carriage will go. Okay, so Chair, uh, Chair Honey. Yeah, I may, uh, I don't know if this has any effect. I may, what I might do is go back to the garage door guy and make sure of what what's available in that. I might come in and just show you. Sure. So you, it, it can be to your discretion, I guess, okay. just to make sure. You know, it might be as simple as not having the, the insert. Right, mm -hmm. right, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, and if we approve this, I think you can just come to Jamie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chair Pennington? Aye. Vice Chair Peeler? Aye. Uh, Ms. Meinking? Aye. Ms. Uh, Dice? Aye. Uh, Mr. Hess? Aye. And Mr. Williams? Aye. Okay. So uh, as you're aware, I'll um, issue the COA and the yellow card um, and just bring the, I, I would say for, the, for our record, um, once you choose once you finalize the design, we just need a PDF once it's approved, so I have that for our files. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Like you say, you need you want the light fixture and what the door is definitely going to look like. Then. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Just a personal word. Um, Miss Lawson's office has been wonderful to the Warrens, <laughs> so thank you so much. I know that's hard work, and y'all been wonderful for us, wonderful to work with. We appreciate we appreciate all your work. Because we bought an old house for a reason. So thank you. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank Appreciate you so it. much. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Have a beautiful house. Right. Thank you so Thanks, much. Yeah. See you, Mike. All right. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, the next item is uh, item number three, which is a request by Mr. and Mrs. Wilson um, to install uh, siding and new windows. I'm not sure that they're here. Um, so let's just let's just check the hall and upstairs, and I will see if I can contact them. Can we act on an application without the application? I here? wouldn't. I, I definitely wouldn't do that. I think it's their burden of proof, um, what they're requesting, regardless of yeah. uh, anything else. Um, and 
so I would I would also just suggest that we continue their application uh, if they're not able to be present to do those other things as well.
schedule in general, which included that. So um, we're going to, and, and the understanding with city council, because I got some questions about it, was we'll see how that fee goes. If there's a lot of concerns, um, a lot of uh, issues pertaining to that, then fee schedule, just like the standards and, and the UDO and everything else can be amended. So this will go into effect. Um, January 1st. What will the fees look like? Uh, it will be $100 for a major COA. I mean, there has been no, no charge for, there's been no charge, and, and actually though, I should also mention, um, there will be, I'll pull up the fee schedule. We also did not have any charges for local historic district amendment applications. We didn't have any charges for landmark designations. Um, these are all applications that, again, go through a rigorous um, application process where there's a lot of public outreach notification, but um, time and effort, staff reports, uh, notification in the newspaper. So we've added these to capture and for the local historic district amendment, um, you know, we had a consultant that had to prepare the report to um, as part of that item. So, uh, not to say that we're recapturing all of these things, but um, we are no, and and it's um, we we've done some research and it's 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 unique that um, that these haven't been charged. It's a pros and cons associated with these things, and it's never easy to kind of swallow the pill. Um, but I think we have, and we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I think council is is um, cognizant of of these items. Yeah. I mean, what we don't want to do is disincentivize That's people, right. you know, right. um, going through the process, you know, right. in good faith. That's right. Um, but like a one-time fee, so say somebody comes yeah. to us with a major COA and they have to come back for some reason or something. So mm -hmm. it's not. It's just with their application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like the issue with the lights here in the garage, we wouldn't have. Ab free. Absolutely. There's um, it's a, a one charge application fee, just like if somebody's applying for a fence permit or a sign permit or a building permit. There's fees associated with, with all of those. Um, How many things can you get for the $100? How many things can you put in there? <laughs> 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 It'll make you think through your application a little bit more. Um, well, and, and you know, as, as you guys know too, the, at the end of the year, we'll be looking at the standards and if there's things that need to be adjusted that you're seeing more on a, on a regular basis, <coughs> you feel that we can handled more administratively, then I think that's that's helpful too. Um, so by by no means are we trying to prevent folks from um, from uh, applications. Okay, and then so the last item is just um, Aurora Picket Mill that is still going through the technical review committee. It's probably going to be finalized very, very, very soon. Um, we are going to be having that application because it is a rezoning request with a plan of development, although um, there isn't much change to the building except for the interior is going to be converted from a, um, you know, from a industrial um, manufacturing site to um, apartments. Uh, there isn't going to be any change to the, to the structure itself. Um, but we do feel that it should come in front of the Historic Preservation Commission um, just for a uh, review. And then it would go, the, the rezoning would follow the Planning and Zoning Commission and then uh, City Council, um, and then most likely come back to you in a major such way. So it's kind of a, a unique one uh, because they're applying for plan development, rezoning. Uh, we can talk more about that <laughs> another time. Yeah. So I know um, there is a member of the public here. I don't know uh, if you have any comments or just here to. Well, I was here because uh, the house of listings and trial across the street.
Did the staff make a recommendation on that? We we were recommending um, approval for that. It, I, I don't know if you heard that that property was um, or that structure was built in the eighties. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's not um, original to the district. <laughs> it seems like we're not acting on it because um, the owners aren't here. Yes. If you had comment, so it'll be at the January or February meeting. If you had comment, you could email Jamie. Um, or of course, to me. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Sorry, yeah. didn't move forward. We're gonna try reaching them one more time. Um, you want to talk about January really quick? We'll yeah. Uh, well, so quickly, tomorrow night is a holiday party for boards and commissions that um, hopefully uh, those who are available are able to attend. They'll be down here. Um, be a nice opportunity to just chit chat with other staff members and other boards and commissions and um, enjoy some food and catering. And, um, it's kind of that time of the year to start winding down, hopefully. <laughs> um, and then um, there was some there was some uh, conversation about the January meeting date and the availability of commission members. Um, so we were just trying to gauge um, if we would have a quorum for that. So I guess does anybody um, raise your hand if you are able to attend? One, two, three, four. So there we have a quorum. So the other three commission members can't attend. Okay. So. so yeah. Yeah. So don't get sick. Yeah, I'm, gonna say, <laughs> bar, I'm teaching women so barring. Um, and how do we how do we appoint somebody to act as chair? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Ask me some. Got yeah. It somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, why why don't you why don't you do that now while you have everybody here? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not sending emails out. Yeah. Uh, maybe yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, can we show you mine? Yeah. <laughs> it's a really good one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let the, let the minutes show that Christina um, Mike came back as chair in January, since I'm chair and vice chair. Sounds good. Okay. I saw that the first public event for the carousel was next I saw that the first public event for the carousel is next mm -hmm. week. Yeah. Yes. So, is that right? Yeah. 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 So there's been a lot of um, press about it yeah. and obviously you guys are all welcome um, to attend uh, it's on the 22nd the carousel for new members was a, a whole project that had to come through this commission a couple of times to, the building had to be moved and I don't remember what all else but, so the, yeah. the the carousel itself was designated um, landmark site the carousel and it was in the old building that's kind of, if you drive by the Y on the right hand side, the building is now like open and it looks like just a pavilion. Um, that's where the carousel was. They've taken the gates off and, um, and the fencing around it. And the carousel got sent to, I think, Ohio, maybe? Yep. Um, to be refurbished. And it is now been returned and um, is placed in a brand new, beautiful, state-of-the-art carousel building, which the building itself is something to see, but the carousel in it is gorgeous. And that's also on the Y, just, it's a, attached to the Y building, they expanded the Y building. Um, and so it's, it's really um, a unique um, gem for the city, and you can rent that, um, space for parties, uh, different events, so, so take advantage of that. Uh, so, but, um, you know, we're really, really happy this project is coming to an end. Yeah, right. It's been a long time. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's really nice for the city. So yeah. yeah. Things look beautiful. Yep. All right, anything else? No. Could we continue the last item? Oh, we should Let's do that. Do yes, yes, yes. Um, can we have a motion to continue item number three, I think it was, um, the request by Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, yes. um, until the January and February meetings? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, so you want to know that. Uh -huh. uh, is there a motion to 
return. So moved. It's <laughs> seconded by Wendy. All right, we're adjourned. All right, thank you so much.